Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Just so you know real quick, uh, the reason I don't have any makeup on except for foundation and a little, you know, a little bit on the cheeky weekies here is because I am testing out Tarts. <laughs> God, I should just say I'm looking for it here. Where the hell did I go with it? Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. I should just say I'm testing out Tarts Shape Tape Foundation, the hydrating formula. But this is technically called the uh, this is from their Double Duty Beauty line, and this is Empowered. This is the uh, Hybrid Gel Foundation. And because of the fact I just wasn't happy with the way it was sitting on my skin and stuff, I just put on, well, you'll see the video if you're interested in checking it out. But let's get to this little guy. And look how cute this one is. <laughs> it's like in a little, uh, looks like almost a, a little lunchbox type thing. But this one is Give Me Some New Lip. And there it shows you what's on there. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna try them on and we'll see if I can get it open. We'll try these on and see what they look like. So I'll be right back after I fight with this packaging now too. And okay, I finally got that open. And then one other thing, where'd it go here? Um, a little perk point. <laughs> it's so fun, it's so freaking tiny. This is the Fenty Beauty. Um, it was broken in the container, but I thought I can still lip swatch it and show it to you guys. And then I have my, by Bite Beauty, this is my birthday present from Sephora this year. Let's take a look at this. Oh my god, look at that. Isn't that cute? Holy cow. That is a lot bigger than I thought. Wow, I don't know how that's going to go on your lips. Okay, so let's see here. How many products are in here? One, two, three. Are there only four? One, two, three, four, there should be five. Oh, there it is. Okay, so what we have here is, this is a Fenty Beauty's, where the heck are the name? This, excuse me, ugh, this is just not my day. Okay, good Lord, are you telling me it's on the bottom? Oh, for God's sakes. They have this fold out thing on the bottom. Oh, anyways, okay, so this is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Matte Mozo, Matte Mo, Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the color Candy. So I figured what I'd do, how cute, look at the little FB in there. I figured what I'd do is just try them on. Uh, my makeup already looks like shit, so we might as well try on some lipsticks and have some fun. And let's see what the pigment's like. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's try this baby on. And I'm not going to try any, I'm not going to use lip liner with any of these. I just want to see what they look like without it. Oh, it's pigmented, that's for sure. It's more of a dry matte. I would, you know, it, it's interesting because it's a, it's feels creamy when I'm putting it on. It's still, it has a creamy feel to it, but it feels as if it's gonna go really matte. Actually, I should have zoomed in, I'm sorry. <gasps> My bad. So there is, oh, look at how small that is. <laughs> But they're pretty big men. So that's Fenty Beauty's Mademoiselle in candy. Let's see how she transfers. Oh, this thing does. Not gonna work. <laughs> oh yeah, she transfers. Wow, does she ever. So, uh, not transfer proof, just FYI. Hey, grab one of my Neutrogena wipes. Hashtag not sponsored telling you I'm full of it today. You ever have those days where you just, just everything goes a different way that you just don't want it to? And of course I went and, just like today, everything's gone backwards, and I went and put the brightest lipstick in this container on first. Instead of last. Oh, that comes off real easy, look at that. Stick with the Matte Moselle from Fenty Beauty. This was a perk point I picked up, and this is in the color Griselda. It's quite the name. 
And boy, is that quite the color. Holy cow, she's a dark one. So let's take a look. Ooh, it's like a, um, a blackened plum is how I would describe that. It has more red in it than a true plum though. So it's like a black cherry. There you go, black cherry. Okay, let's try this one on. That is pigmented, you guys. Watch this. Even just transfer, it's pigmented. Ah. Wow. Um, yeah. This is a color that I would highly, highly recommend you use a lip liner with because it it's one of those colors that literally stains everything it touches but it's a beautiful color so that's griselda so let's see of course i put it there again so that i had <sighs> i already showed you it transferred so i don't know why i need to do it again but there's griselda i kind of wonder you know the thing i like about Actually, I didn't stain too bad, but I can tell it'll stain my, it's staining my skin though. It's interesting because it's not staining my lips, but it's staining my skin outside my lip line. Weird. What I do like about this type of formula, just from the feel of it, is I think that, you know, because as you get older, like I am, that's why I want to get lip fillers and fillers under my eyes because you get these wrinkles here. The best way I can, I basically call them little, you know, they're like little road maps. They're like little freeways. And the best thing that they're good for, uh, they're certainly not there for decoration. Uh, they're not very good for showing your lip line nicely. But what they are really, really good for is they're really good bleeding lipsticks. So my point is, is a lipstick like these uh, Mademoiselle ones, they're, they, they don't feel so matte that they're miserably uncomfortable and drying because I hate drying lipsticks, but they felt um, matte enough where they wouldn't bleed, that's for sure. But I've been dying to try this. I've heard a lot about this formula. And this is Smashbox Always On Metallic Matte in the shade XO Vlada. For those of you that don't know, Vlada is a uh, stunning lip artist who has been under contract with Smashbox, I believe now for over a year, but I've been dying to try these always on because I've heard they're not drying. It has a scent to it, but it's more of a, uh, it's not like a flavored scent. It's more of a product scent, I guess. So let's try this color. Wow, that goes across the lip easy. And you can see it's got full pigmentation. It's definitely metallic. Now this is not a, um, originally when I saw this color, I thought it was gonna be like a bronze because I'm sorry, I should have showed you guys, forgive me. Cause it looks bronze, but I don't know if you can see on my lips, it's very toned down in that. It's not a true, it's not a true orangey bronze, at least not on my skin tone. It's more of a pinky nude bronze. Does that make sense? It's a neutral bronze. Every bronze is neutral, but you know what I mean. It's, it's very toned down. I mean, this is something that I would feel, of course I love metallics, but if you're somebody who doesn't like, and a lot of people out there don't like metallic lips. I don't know why, cause boy, I'll tell you, I think a metallic lip is gorgeous. I think it just gives that, you know, obviously I'm not going to wear a high metallic lip with a high metallic eye unless I really want to go out, you know, and draw attention. But I think, you know, if you're wearing a mellow eye or a matte look and you put on like a banging red metallic lip, oh God, I just, I love shine on a lip. I just do. But this one is one that, you know, people that don't like metallic lips could wear easily because it's not offensively metallic. Does that make sense? They have a red metallic one. I'm dying to try. I'll tell you one thing though. I, I almost hate to say it because I'm going to want them. This is the first liquid lipstick I've put on my lips in a long time that doesn't feel dry. 
unless I try to rub my lips together, then you can feel, you know, they catch on each other. They don't want to, you know, like if you have regular lipstick on, you rub your lips together, you have that smooth roll of your lips. And you try and do it with a matte lip with lipstick on once it's dried down, your lips go, Ugh, you know. But other than that, I mean, and that's to be expected of any lip with lipstick, I don't even feel like I have anything on my lips, you guys. Let's try transfer now. None. Not a bit. Oh, look at that. That is definitely one that I would consider transfer proof. And I would feel comfortable wearing this in like that bright red metallic I want. They have so many beautiful colors in this um, Smashbox Always Online that I want to try so that I want so bad. Okay, let's do the next one. This color, I think, looking by the color that's on here, I'm hoping this is going to be the color that it shows on here, because it, if it is, it'll be my favorite. And this is a brand new product from Marc Jacobs Beauty. This is the Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon. Liquid Lip Crayon. Interesting. And the color is Night Mauves, like Night Moves, but Night Mauves. Look at that. Well, that's weird. I can feel mine clinking around in there. Oh, I hope it's not broken. Let's see, is it a twist up? Yes, twist down. <gasps> oh, you can twist it up and back down so it's retractable. Beautiful. Okay, and as you can see, it's uh, like a point. I'm wondering why they're calling this a, what they call this, a liquid lipstick? Liquid lip crayon. Interesting. Okay, so let's check the color. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, well, there's the color first off. Check this out, you guys. Now, I'm not going to apply any pressure, okay? I'm just, look at, see here? Watch this. Look at that. I have no pressure. Look at, no pressure. I'm just like, you know how you do that with a pencil? Look. You know, just like, you, you know how you do when you're a kid, you do this, make a pencil waggle around? Look at that. I hate wasting it. But I had to show you. Seriously, look. Look at that. And the reason I did, I know that looks ridiculous, but the reason I did that to show you is because this literally required no pressure at all and the product would just was just ghosting on this. Oh, I can't wait to try this on. Oh my God. If this wears like it just applied and it doesn't bleed, if it moves as much as it, <laughs> if it just went across my hand, we're going to have a problem. But if it stays put, mm. and you can see it's really soft because look what I what the happened to the tip when I was banging around on my hand. Obviously, you're not going to be doing that on your lips, though. So let's try this. Sorry, Mr. Tip. That sounded bad. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys can see the way this is applying. I've got a whole bunch of it chunked up at the top. Let me get that off. It's really soft. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Um, that feels like heaven, literally. Oh my God. Now, the color does not match at all, so beware of that if you decide to purchase some of these independent of this collection, uh, and you have to select by color, you can clearly see it's nowhere close. To me, this looked like a cool tone gray-based mauve, and on my lips, it looks like a rosy pink, so no correlation there at all. Um, I am concerned about you know, I can feel it in here going, you know how these type, I don't even know what to, these crayons, how sometimes they have a tendency to break in there and you can feel them jogging around. I can feel that in there. I hope this isn't broken or isn't going to break. I will tell you the one thing that drives me nuts right off the bat, and I know this is really stupid, but you know, when I take the lid off of these, you know, like when I'm working with ones on my eyes and stuff, I like to be able to snap the cap on the back so I don't lose it. The cap is too tight. It won't go on the back of this. I know that's kind of a dumb thing, but it's just something I noticed, so I figured I'd pass it along. Wow. Uh, 
all I can say is if this if this stays like this and it doesn't bleed, I may have just found my favorite new lip product because oh these feel incredible you guys these I've only got one this forgive me feels incredible I wonder if it's gonna dry down or not and set you know what I'm gonna give this about five minutes I want to see what it's gonna do if it's gonna dry down because right now the best way I can describe it to you is it has the consistency of it has a lot of slip to it it feels like a very emollient um, slick formula and my biggest concern with a formula that feels this slick at least in the past has been that you know kind of the more emollient a formula is the easier it bleeds into lines so the other thing I'm noticing about this am I seeing this wrong hang on just a minute here I gotta wow um, I don't um, 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 just smack me. If I say um one more time, just belt me through the camera. Please, I hate that I do that. And there's nothing worse than editing my own videos, hearing myself go um, um. Jesus, Shelby, just shut up and don't say anything other than um. Reminds me of that movie where that character always goes um. Sorry. Anyways, um. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but there's a shine to this. There's like a, a pearlescent shine. I can see it on my bottom lip, especially as the light hits it. Can you guys see that? Let me zoom you in a little bit closer, like you need to be closer. Can you see the shine here and like right here? Hmm. It's really pretty, you guys. It's really pretty. Okay, now just in the few minutes I've been sitting here talking, it, it's lost a little bit of that slick. In other words, it kind of feels like it's set down a little more matte. And it doesn't seem to be overemphasizing the lines in my lips the ones actually in my lips not the ones above my lips okay well I'll be back in a few and we'll check on it okay so it has set down it's been about four minutes now five minutes since I applied it let's try kiss test real quick does lightly transfer as you can see and Let's see. I'm just stretching my lips to see if I can see it beginning to bleed into any, you know, any lines. No. No, no, no. Well. Now, one last thing I want to try. I want to try layering it. Like, just pretending that this had worn off and I wanted to apply more. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, it seems to layer good too. I don't see any, you know, any problem like you do with matte liquid lipstick. Sometimes you try and layer them and they start balling up. Ugh. I don't see that. And I, I just love this. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm looking in the viewfinder and it looks like you can see it just right here. And maybe a little bit here and here. But it has like this pearlescence to it. It's not metallic by any means. It is very much matte. But it's like when the light hits it, you can, you know, when you, it's just hard to, basically the only thing I can say is when the light hits it at certain angles, it looks almost as if there's a pearl powder or something um, in the formula that gives it that, where it gives off that poof. That refraction that catches the light and bounces the light back off. Real pretty. I can see it on the high points of my lips right now, right here and right there on my bottom lip. Hmm. Wow. Uh, well, I can tell you this much. Um, I'm impressed with this. I don't quite know why they call these a liquid lip crayon. My impression when I first saw that is I thought, you know, I was going to take this off and see like a sponge tip or something that you clicked, you know, liquid into. But this is very much a solid formula. 
It's really, it's one of a kind. I don't think I've ever felt a formula like this because it, while it's solid and it's just, you know, and how it's dispensed, it's solid. The minute that it touches, that formula touches the heat of your lips, it's like it melts, it melts on contact where you're putting it and then reforms binding to the lip. Does that make sense? That's the best way I can describe it because it definitely set down in the you know four or five minutes I had it on it wasn't slick anymore and never has it been uncomfortable see even now I can feel that that real slick slick isn't there it's definitely starting to set down now and then that pearl essence it has uh, just wow beautiful I was talking about the Smashbox and I'd love to have a collection of these I would absolutely love to have the collection of these. I don't know how much they are individually. Knowing Marc Jacobs, they're probably $26 to $28 would be my guess. But I will put not only this product down below, but all the others. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. I don't even want to take it off. I love it so much. Okay, moving along. The next one we have, oh, I didn't know this little guy was in here. I just bought a couple full sizes of these. For those of you who've been around our channel for a while, you know I love metallic lips. So this is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe and the color is Snobby. Oh, and by the way, forgive me, I should have said the only two full-size products in here, of course, are the two that I love the most, which are the Marc Jacobs and the Smashbox. And like I said, I mean, I, I think this is like 20, probably 26 to $28 and the box was $28. So more than likely, no, I think the, these would probably be around 25 or 26. I'll put the prices down below. But the point is basically one, just this right here probably pays for your box and the rest of it's all free. But uh, the other items outside of those two are trial size, like this Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. It has like a candy, oh God, look at that color. Wow, isn't that pretty? I was not expecting that. I actually think I bought this one in full size. It's funny because when you look at it head on like that, it almost looks like a light pink, but then the light catches it and it's like, ba bam. I don't know if I can get it to, it's like a pink in one light and then it just turns bronze in another. It's really pretty. There, I think you can see it there. Can you see that or not? I don't know. Arr, let me see real quick because I want to see, I think I bought this full size. Oh no, okay, good. I bought Mystical and Shameless. So see, I love metallics. You guys will see those coming up soon. So let's try this one on by itself. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Of course, I should probably apply it so you can see it, shouldn't I? God, I suck at this still. Sorry. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a baby pink with a peach shift. Or a bronze shift. Ooh, I like that. What do you guys think of that? Very emollient. I'm looking to see if I'm getting any of those, you know, those strings. Of course, part of that has to do with application if you apply too much, but I wouldn't say that this is a a sticky formula at all. I would say this is probably one of the lighter formulas I've tried recently. But again, my only concern is whether or not it'll bleed into the lip lines because it is a thinner formula. But boy, it packs a punch, you guys. Look at that. Oh, I love that color. Isn't that pretty? Mmm. Doesn't give you a ho look. Hm. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Well, let's move on to the next one. Okay, and the last one that comes in this box is this big hunker. I don't know why in the world they did this so big, especially for lips. This is Tristique. It is a mini plumping lip balm, and the color it's in is Barbados Berry. So let's, how's this open? Pull, twist. How's this open? Oh, come on, I can't be that challenged. How's it open? I literally am trying to get this open in it. What the frick? Is it flip top? Oh, come on. <laughs> I literally 
cannot figure out how to open this, you guys. Um, this is what it looks like, and you would think, I mean, see, like, there's no thing to put your finger, like, to flip it open, so you would think it would be a, you know, a twist, but I'm putting everything into it. What the hell? And it's not the top that, because you, you can't even grasp that. Okay, this is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Sure. This is ridiculous. I'll be right back. I'm going to try and figure out how... I literally cannot figure out how... It doesn't pull off. Oh my god. Uh, well, it does pull off, but that's clearly not the way you're supposed to open it. Look. that's The, the base just separated. This is absolutely... F Excuse my language, but this is ridiculous. 20 minutes later. What the hell's this called? Lip balm. Throw it in the garbage is what it's going to be called. Hey, this is ridiculous. Stay on the stupid picture. Motherfucker. It keeps flipping to the first picture, so I can't stop it. But as you can see, when a stupid thing auto flips, see how it's like a twist on? See that there, the twist? I'll try and pause it so you guys can see it with a stupid website of theirs flipping back and forth. But, I mean, just like I thought, it looks like a mini plumping lip balm. The cutest pocket-sized plumping balm with a kiss of color. Collectible and craveable. Not if you can't open them. I'm watching a little video they have on their website on how to open it. And, of course, they just show gals putting it on and jumping around like this is aerobics or something. They don't show them actually opening it, of course. So, this is a... Are you kidding me? Do you guys have any idea how long I fought with this? And it ended up making a mess out of it and tear... Oh, I'm so mad right now. I swear to God, you guys. I swear to God, that would not turn off. It would not turn like it just did with ease. It's like somebody's pulling a prank on me. Yeah, I'm looking around because I have friends around here. Okay, let's try this damn thing. I'm so mad at it now. I almost just want to go... Uh-uh. 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 I'm sure you guys can tell what I'm going to say. Um, here... Um, there's the um again. Okay. Shelby, you're on your last warning now. I've warned you, and you better stop. It's, uh... A lot pinker than I thought it was going to be based on the color of this. It's a pretty color. I didn't realize it was actually going to have that much color to it. And granted, it has that much color to it. I have no idea why they would make it this wide. I um, There's the um again. There's the frickin' um again. I'm probably driving you guys nuts with it now. Anyways, I have no idea why they'd make it that wide because a lot of the Tristique items I have are in things that are this size, like the Marc Jacob one. So why would they... I mean, look how wide that is. When you got something that has to apply color, it feels lovely on the lips. I love the feeling of it. It's, it's not bleeding outside of my lip lines yet. Um... I literally am going to sit down tomorrow in front of a mirror and I am going to wipe that word from my existence. I'm going to sit down and um myself until, you know what it is? I know what it's from. It's from Alice in Wonderland, the second one. Remember, she talks about, what is it, Mr. Um? Or Mrs. Um. No, she goes in, she's, yeah, she calls herself Um. Remember? Ugh. Anyhow, so that is the last item. Of course, remember that the Fenty Beauty in Griselda, the really dark cherry one, that was not part of this collection. That's just one I got as a point perk. So, but that is the end of the Give Me Some New Lip. That's all the items in there. And quite frankly, I'll tell you, I love the feeling of this. This went on beautifully, did not feel drying on my lips at all. And trust me, 
I've worn enough liquid lipsticks. The minute I put them on my lips, I can tell if they're going to be drying or not. And this definitely did not feel that way. I will have to test it long term, but short term felt wonderful. Oh, I'll get back to that baby. This, you know, if it hadn't pissed me off so much opening it, I'd really like it. And I actually really do like it. It's very, like I said, it's very comfortable and it gives a nice, nice color to your lips. Uh, the Huda Beauty lip strobe. Love it. Love the delicate pink color with that shift it has. Beautiful. And the Fenty Beauty in uh, the Matte Moselle in candy. Um, you did it again. You did it again. <sighs> While I adore pink, even this one, I think, is just maybe a bit too, you know, if I had a little shine, maybe I'd take and, and wear this one and then put the uh, Huda Beauty, the lip strobe on top of it. Then it'd probably be perfect for me. But this right here, this is the steal of the show, in my opinion. Uh, even though the color does not look anything like the color it is when you wear, if he produced a color that truly is this cool-toned mauve, I would absolutely love that because boy do I love that. This is a pretty color that's in here too, but this right here is one of my favorite, all-time favorite colors to wear. You wouldn't think so given my skin tone, but I just, something about that color I just love. But anyways, I think this is the steal of this and the, the Smashbox. These are the steal. And of course, interestingly enough, they're both the full-size products in here too. So uh, is it worth $28, this one? Absolutely, in my opinion, without a doubt. Okay, now I'd like to move on real quick. I have a couple things I want to show you guys that are lip products that I picked up. And I figure since I'm doing lip swatches now, I might as well show them to you. So let me get to those real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, speaking of sticks, it's real interesting because I got this. This is what I selected for my birthday present this year. This is the, uh, just says Bite Beauty. Oh, here we go. Pucker up at your birthday. Well, I guess that's what it's called. So let's open it up and see what it's got. But it looks like it has one of their sticks in here. Is there three items? Oh, there's three items. Okay, so it comes with, but it looks really pretty. So we'll, I think these, and is this a mousse bouche or something? I can't read the bottom, but oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Little cute little one there. And then it comes with this, and I've been dying to try this. This is the Agave Lip Balm. Oh, and it also has the Agave Sugar Lip Scrub. So you get the lip scrub over here and the lip balm here, just in these little bubbles. That's lovely. Okay, so let's try this one out first. L-A-C-E. I think that's what the color is. It's so tiny on here, it's almost impossible to read. So let me put a little on my hand here. Ooh, that is smooth. That is the closest thing I feel to that Marc Jacobs I just put on. So let's try this on, shall we? Real smooth on the lips. Wow, that was easy and beautiful. Ooh, wow, I like that. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, I like that, you guys. Is that a phrase? Um, oh, I, I'm gonna cut out every um I can, I promise you guys. Cause if I have to sit and watch myself go um, 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 um the whole time, I, I just, I'm gonna lose my mind. This is beautiful, okay? This, this straight up is beautiful. This is something I would wear every day. I can feel it already that it's not going to bleed. It's it's going to stay where I put it. It's moisturizing. It feels so good on the lips. And for those of you, if you haven't watched my video yet, I'll put a tag up here, but I swatched all of this, the entire collection of Bite Beauty's creme lip glosses. They now have, oh, what are those multi sticks in these colors? But unfortunately, uh, one of my girlfriends came over and she stole the entire collection. I had them all in a bag because I was getting ready to do a Bite Beauty haul and was going to try on all their lip products at once. So I had them all in a bag and she stole them all. This is the only one I had because it was in my purse at the time, which is Oyster Pearl. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, but if 
you, if you like these kind of products, you got to watch that video and see these. This is Oyster Pearl. Pretty much paid for the damn thing. It better not start me being difficult. Anyways, um, these are beautiful. Love the smell of them too. But the shine in these, the wear on these, I'm telling you, I absolutely am heartbroken that I don't have uh, the collection of these anymore. And I think they've come out. There's Oyster Pearl. Look at that. I think they've come out with a new, a uh, couple new color scents in addition to the multi sticks. So, anyways, um, but you know, when you have, I've already purchased them all once, even though I love them, I can't bear the idea of buying them again. I just, when there are so many things out there I need to purchase purchasing something I've already purchased so I've been just broken hearted about that so but anyways this here oh wow I I'm gonna have to look into I don't know what these are called specifically but the formula feels incredible on my lips doesn't bring out any negative anything in the way my lips look it's creamy it's staying put it's not bleeding they're pigmented I I Oh wow, I really like this, you guys. So let's move on and try the lipstick that came with this next. Okay, and the next one that came with the collection is this little lipstick. I imagine this is the, yeah, this is the Amuse Bouche lipstick in the color Chai. See what she looks like? Ooh, well that's a pretty color. Very pretty. Has that typical smell that they do, kind of a, like a minty smell. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is an experience. Mmm. Oh, you guys. Honest to god, I don't know why I don't own any of the amuse bouche bouche amuse amuse bouche. I'll never get it right. I don't know why I don't own any of these because this, maybe because of the fact, just like this, I've never tried them on before. So, for those of you out there who've tried on uh, Bite Beauty's lipsticks, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But this, this feels like heaven on my lips. I literally feel like I could wear this all day and my lips would not dry out. They wouldn't get nasty looking, it wouldn't bleed, they wouldn't get cracked. They, you know, if they started losing color, it would be a gradual fade. This is a beautiful formula. Wow. Oh. Well, all I can say is I am beyond thrilled I picked this as my birthday gift from Sephora. <laughs> I need some of these. I need some of these. Oh. As if I didn't feel bad enough already that I don't have any more of my lip glosses from them except for that one. I don't own a single lipstick of theirs. And after feeling this, oh, that needs to be remedied. You guys, if, if you have dry lips, I don't, I don't care what your lips are like, you're going to love the feel of this. If you like, a, if you're looking for a standard lipstick and you've had it with all the dried out uh, liquid lipsticks, go get yourself an amuse bouche lipstick because this feels like nothing this reminds me of the lipsticks my mom used to wear back in the day uh, when Estee Lauder and YSL had some of the best lipsticks on the market that's what this reminds me of this is beautiful now this one where to go is one that uh, Brianna got me for Christmas and Mac released their grand illusion liquid lip colors basically fancy lip glosses and this one is in the color let's rock and boy is this is like a party in a bottle i mean it it's not it, i just can't do it justice here because i know you can see kind of that gold reflect coming out of it but this is a color that is just indescribable has a typical mac vanilla classic smell but this has in one light, you're, you'll see it pink. Um, in the next light, it'll be brilliant flashing orange. And then it catches the light a little bit again and then it'll bring in some gold and it catches the light the other way and it'll bring in some green. 
this and then flat on with no light just flat on at it with the light hitting it from the angle it'll be like a bubblegum pink slash magenta it is unbelievable so I'll just try and move it around a little bit here see the pink there see that and then watch as light hits it you can got pink right at the flat angle and then the gold starts creeping in and then the green starts creeping in look at that isn't that amazing there see the pink look at that and then when the light hits it look at the play of greens and golds in there isn't that beautiful you guys look at that truly a very 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 unique color and I fell in love with it the minute I saw it so when Brie got it for me for Christmas I was thrilled I'm not thrilled about the fact that they stuck these in these containers though and I sure hope I don't have a problem with these like I did with the original liquid lipsticks I don't know if any of you had that problem but the liquid lipsticks when they originally released they had them in these containers and they broke off right here right at the uh, seal ring where it connects to the, con the container so let's hope we don't have that I'm kind of surprised to see them release it in this but oh look at that oh my god you know what I'm gonna take I gotta do head on head on apply directly to the forehead that's what Brie would say if she was in here head on apply directly to the forehead I just wanted to be facing up so you guys could see this as I put it on because this color is a riot literally Isn't that gorgeous? Now I know it's not for everyone, but I, mm, I love it. Look at that. Look at all the different colors that pop out of that. It's not sticky. I think Mac did a really good job with this lip gloss formula. I mean it's not sticky at all it doesn't give you that those you know strings I just I just love this color I think it's really something and again it's called let's rock just wanted to show that to you so I know that these last two things the uh, my birthday present and that Mac one aren't part of this collection but I figured you know I'm doing some lipsticks here and I love doing lipstick swatches one of my favorite things to do and you know I have hardly any lipsticks now because my entire MAC collection, I had over, I think at last count I had around 130 MAC lipsticks and they were all destroyed when our house got flooded out because the neighbor's cistern plugged and it flooded our house and from all the way because they all got uh, so much water and they got moldy. So needless to say, uh, I'm desperately short of lipsticks right now and desperately in need. <laughs> So anyways, uh, but as for the Sephora favorites, give me some new lip, uh, without a doubt, this is, this is worth the $28 in my personal opinion. Even if you only like, you know, even if I only like the Marc Jacobs and the Smashbox in there, it'd be worth it to me because that's double the value of the box. So uh, as far as I know, last time I checked, these are still in stock at Sephora. I will put links not only for the this particular product down below, but I will put links to all the products I tried on in this video down below in case you're interested. Anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you guys liked a little play with lips. Until next time, I hope wherever you're at in the world, life's treating you good. And if you're having struggles, you're beating those bitches back and persevering. I love you guys. Bye!